In this tutorial we're going to look at the colour wheel and how to blend and mix colours. The colour wheel tells us which colours we can blend together. So any colours that are touching each other on the colour wheel will blend together for you. For example, red and violet will blend together, red and orange, red and yellow will blend together and so on. The three primary colours, red, yellow and blue, are the colours that we're going to use to create all the colours in the colour wheel. You should already know that red and yellow are your primary colours and in between that there's orange so the colour wheel tells us that orange is made by using the red and the yellow and that is the same all the way around the colour wheel. So I'm going to start with a yellow with my water pot and I take some of the water off so it's not too wet because I want my colours to be opaque and quite thick and I pull the yellow we say down the mountain so I make a path on my palette for it and I can apply the yellow smoothly to my page. If I add a small amount of red to my yellow I should make a slightly darker yellow and this will lead us to orange. I'll leave a gap and then I move into the yellow and I go over the yellow about halfway and at this stage there's not a lot of paint on my brush I'm just moving the paint that's already on the page around. Now I'll add a little bit more red into my yellow leave a gap and go about halfway into the yellow and you can see now I'm getting an orange and a little bit more leaving a gap and going halfway across this will give you smooth blending and I should be able to go all the way to red so that's a red leaving a gap and blending and from my red I can add a little bit of blue leave a gap and I should be able to go to violet leaving a gap and going halfway over and from the violet I can go all the way back to blue when mixing colours we always start with the lightest colour first so if I wanted to use a green I would start with the yellow because that's the lightest. Add a tiny amount of blue. Blue is a very strong colour, so you only need a small amount. And I can easily get at least five shades of green, at least five. That you can then apply to your painting. And it's quite a good idea to have these shades already mixed on your palette before you start painting so that you can just start applying them. Up to the darker greens. And that will lead me again to blue. That's painting using a paintbrush and shades. A shade is when we mix two colours together. If you had a painting, the way that you would apply that to your painting 
for example here I've got a drawing of a section of a flower is you might want to start light and go darker or you could start with the light in the middle and do the darker edges and I'll show you how to apply that. You should be using the curve of the flower so all your painting direction should be up and following the curve. If you were to paint it flat and across your flower would look flat and it wouldn't look 3D. So I'll start with a yellow Use the tip of the brush, the tip of the brush will ensure that you get a nice neat edge. I'll add a small amount of red to my yellow and I still leave a gap just like I did in my experiment and then I move over and again I'm just moving the paint around gently going over it until I can see the blend occurring and a little bit darker and you have to work in this technique when the paint is wet so you do have to work with a lot of focus and reasonably quickly. If you're getting a very dry edge, as you can see there, you just need to add a little bit of more water and a little bit more paint to your brush. And because my flower is changing the angle, I'm following the curve of the flower in the opposite direction now. 